Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to my, well, this isn't my studio. I'm actually in one of my favorite spots in the world and that's Waterton Lakes National Park. I come here quite often and I don't do videos, especially for this channel, because I'm usually out here and it's quite windy and it's just really hard to do videos, well, when it's really windy and you can't hear me. But today is absolutely perfect. It's early in the morning. Um, over here we have some sandhill cranes that are actually calling, surrounded by a whole bunch of different birds and frogs and everything, and it's just beautiful. In today's video, I wanna talk about something that, well, it's the reason that I get out. And I don't talk about a lot on this channel. I have another YouTube channel about it, um, I haven't done a lot over there, so I thought I'd just bring you out and show you what I do when I'm out in a boat and what I use. And well, sitting beside me, this is what I use. It's a 2017 Ford Transit van. It's camperized. I camperized it myself. It has a, a kitchen in it, a bathroom in it. It has a bed in it, a furnace. It has a fridge. Um, it has everything that I possibly could need when I'm out taking pictures and I love it it is great and I want to talk about what you should do if you want to get out taking pictures whether it's for nature and wildlife or whether it's for weddings or families and stuff and I don't mean that you have to go out and buy a van or a camper or anything like that but I want to talk about being prepared when you go out to take pictures Something I see so many people not do and it's really, really, really frustrating. I see people going out and they grab a camera bag, they get the gear, they throw it in their car, they head out to do a wedding, they head out to do a family picture or whatever, and they struggle because they don't have the stuff with them. And they come into my studio and they say, well, it must be nice to have a studio because you have everything here. And don't get me wrong, it is really nice. Sorry, I just distracted by a bird flying by. It's really nice to have a studio. I love my studio. I love having the lights in the bathroom. I love having the furnace and I love having all the gear and everything there. But you can go out and be prepared with anything. Whether it's a good size backpack that takes all your gear or whether it's a vehicle like this where it's something that you have a bunch of stuff in that you can, well, it makes your life so much easier. You can be prepared when you go out. In today's video, I want to talk about being prepared. So whether you go out there to shoot weddings, whether you go out there to shoot uh, nature and wildlife, family pictures, commercial or whatever, what are some of the things that you should consider doing so that, well, you are prepared? One of the first things is, that, well, it's pretty basic, but I, don't, I still see people not doing it, is make sure you're taking the camera gear that you actually are going to need. I see it so often. I see it so much where people will go out and they'll just grab a camera, a lens, maybe a flash, and that's it. And they don't have enough gear with them. So make sure you're taking enough gear. Make sure you're taking tripods, whether you think you're going to need the tripod or not. And if you've seen my past videos, you know I'm not a tripod person, but I carry tripods. What do you think my camera is sitting on right now? If I went to do some scenic pictures and I wanted long exposures, I need to have a tripod. I need to have extra batteries or ways of charging them. In this vehicle, I have dual battery chargers built in so that I can charge my batteries. I have all the gear I'm possibly going to need. Today, I am carrying uh, one, two, two camera cases with my gear in it. And I'm carrying a laptop bag as well as I have in the vehicle several accessory kits with me so that I have the extra gear I need. So if you're going out to do whatever, Go out and be prepared. I don't know how hard it is to do this when I have birds flying around and stuff moving and I'm trying to pay attention to you guys. First, camera gear. Second, take enough gear that you're feeling safe, that you're feeling secure, that you have gear to change into, that you, you're not going to be struggling if the weather changes and it gets cold out or if it gets hot out if it gets rainy out you're not going to struggle if you get muddy and you now need to finish a wedding being covered in mud or having your shoes all muddy take extra clothing with you take extra changes of clothes with you extra shoes so that you have the stuff that you can change into should you need it take warmer clothes take cooler clothes take changes of clothes 
I've gone to so many weddings where stuff has happened that I wasn't intending to happen. The bride wants a shot over here and it was really muddy and my shoes get muddy and then I have to go from there into the reception hall. Well, guess what? You get muddy shoes going into the reception hall is really not something that people are happy with. So make sure that you have extra changes of clothes. Number three, take some food, snacks and stuff with you. And I say this, I've said, said this in other videos. I say this quite often when I'm teaching, I say this. Whether you are diabetic, whether you just get hungry, whether you just like, you're not sure how long you're going to be out for, take some extra food, take water with you, take stuff to drink with you. Be prepared so that you're not, well, getting sick or getting weak or like whatever. Be prepared. Number four is, same as the previous one uh, with taking food to be prepared. Be prepared if stuff shouldn't go your way and you can't make it home right away. Especially applies to if you're doing nature and wildlife, but it does work for weddings as well. When I used to have a van, I used to have a sleeping bag in the back of it. I used to have some extra stuff in the back of it just to make sure that I had the stuff with me in case I got stuck somewhere. I was prepared for it. Really important if you're the nature and wildlife photographer that likes to be out early in the morning or you like to stay out till later at night. You want to take enough stuff with you so that you have it with you and you're prepared should you not be able to get home, should you be too tired, should you just not be able to make that drive. Again, my van, it's great. I love my van. I'm not saying you have to have a van like this, but it works wonderful. So until next time, get out there, take some great pictures, be prepared. Pre Prepare out your vehicle for when you're going out so that you can do it safely and you don't have to be rushed with it. So until next time, I'm going out to enjoy this beautiful day with a bike ride. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.